Have you ever seen a wound that just won't heal? You try everything, cleaning it, putting on bandages, and even using special creams. But weeks go by and it's still there. Maybe it even gets worse. It's frustrating, but here's the thing. Some wounds don't heal because they aren't just normal wounds. They could be a sign of something more serious, an autoimmune disease, a rare infection, or even cancer. And the scariest part, these wounds are often misdiagnosed. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Voltaire, a wound care physician. And today we're talking about atypical wounds, wounds that don't behave the way we expect. By the end of this video, you'll know how to recognize them, why they happen, and what to do if you ever come across one, because missing the warning signs could mean losing a limb or worse. So what's an atypical wound? Most wounds fall into common categories. Pressure ulcers happen over bony areas. Diabetic wounds usually show up on the feet. Venous ulcers develop around the ankles, but atypical wounds don't follow these patterns. They show up in unexpected places, don't heal with standard treatments, and often look different. So how do you know when a wound is not normal? Let's go through some red flags. If it's in a strange location, if the wound is in a place where ulcers don't usually form, that's worth a closer look. If it looks unusual, some atypical wounds have purple edges, extra tissue growing inside of them, or they seem to be getting worse instead of better. If the pain is severe, most chronic wounds actually hurt less over time, but some atypical wounds, especially inflammatory ones, are extremely painful. Nothing seems to work. If antibiotics, special dressings, or even pressure relief aren't helping, there may be an underlying cause that's being missed. If a wound isn't healing, we have to figure out why. Some of the biggest causes include autoimmune diseases. These are diseases where the immune system turns against the body, causing inflammation and damage. Two of the biggest culprits are pyoderma gangrenosum. This one is an intense disorder. It often starts as a small bump or blister, but instead of healing, it breaks down into a deep, painful ulcer. The edges often look purple, and the worst part is if you try to cut it out, it gets worse. This is a wound that needs medication, not surgery. There are also vasculitis type ulcers. Blood vessels get inflamed, cutting off circulation and causing multiple painful ulcers. The skin around them may be red with small purple dots or blisters. Not all wounds are just wounds. Sometimes they're cancer. Examples of these are squamous cell carcinoma, a wound that looks like a scab that never heals could be a red flag for this type of skin cancer. Margelin's ulcer is a burn scar or old wound that turns into cancer. This is why we always biopsy wounds that just don't heal. There are also different types of vascular and blood disorders. When blood flow is poor, wounds don't heal properly. And there's some conditions that make this worse, like calciphylaxis. This happens in people with kidney disease. The blood vessels harden, leading to deep black painful ulcers. There are also sickle cell ulcers. People with sickle cell disease can develop leg ulcers because of poor circulation. These wounds are slow to heal and often return. There are also medication-induced wounds. Some medications can actually cause wounds, like hydroxyurea ulcers. This drug used for blood disorders can cause deep, painful leg ulcers that won't heal until the medication is stopped. You also have heroin-induced ulcers. These are irregular wounds caused by repeated injections, often seen on the arms and legs. There are also infections and parasites that can cause this. Yes, some wounds are caused by infections that most doctors aren't even thinking about, like leishmaniasis, which is a parasite that causes crater-like ulcers, common in tropical areas, but it can show up in travelers. You also have fungal and bacterial infections. There are some rare bacteria or fungi that thrive in chronic wounds, making them worse instead of better. So how do we diagnose an atypical wound? If a wound isn't healing, we don't just guess, we investigate. Here's what we do. You should take a detailed history. You should find out if this has happened before. Are they on medications that slow healing? Do they have underlying health conditions? You should also examine the wound, the shape, color and texture can give us clues. Is it deep? Does it have rolled edges? Does it have purple discoloration? And sometimes you need to perform a biopsy. Taking a small piece of the wound helps rule out cancer, infection, or autoimmune disease. If a wound isn't healing, and we don't know why, a biopsy is almost always the next step. Checking blood work is also a good idea. Blood tests can reveal signs of anemia, infection, or immune system problems. So how do we treat atypical wounds? The treatment depends on the cause. Standard wound care won't work if we're not treating the real problem. For inflammatory wounds, they need steroids or immunosuppressants, not just bandages. Infectious wounds 
need antibiotics or antifungals depending on the organism. Cancerous wounds may require surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation. Wounds from blood circulation problems may need vascular treatment or blood thinners. And most importantly, nutrition matters. Wounds won't heal without the right building blocks, enough protein, vitamins, and hydration. If someone is malnourished, their wound healing slows down dramatically. The bottom line is most wounds heal with the right treatment, but when a wound is healing, we have to ask why. Atypical wounds are telling us something. Ignoring them can mean missing a much bigger problem. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, check out my next video where I'll break down another wound care mystery that you definitely don't want to miss. Stay informed and heal well.